So it's a very, very unique Suicune to have. Okay, Galarian Berserker. Old Angle do. Oh my god! No freaking way! No way! No way! No way! Alright, next break we have today is gonna be Avi Protocol. Alright. Alright, Avi Protocol, where you at? Because Avi Protocol is gonna be hitting up a set here you guys definitely wanna see. Flash fire, baby. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Three to the front. Here we go. Flash fire. Sneasel. Avalon. Sorry to miss any questions or loads in chat here, though. Need to get the emotes? Thank you, Focus Snakes. Thank you, thank you, man. Island vibes on the link. Hey, you know it, Demon Beller. I'm sorry to miss any questions or loads from you guys here. Weasel. Come on. First time seeing flash fire, this set is known to be the Charizard set, baby. The Charizard set. Here we go. It's our reverse. Reverse binnacle. Okay, we'll take a reverse binnacle. Okay. Are we going to master set this? Every protocol? Hmm? Alright, here we go. Final card is... It is a Mega Charizard EX, baby! Okay, okay! Our first Charizard pulled right now. I told you guys, we only did a couple packs yesterday. We only doing a couple packs today. Yeah, congratulations on the Charizard Abbey Protocol. Let's go, baby. Let's hit you up with some vintage here. We got a Sand Shrew. We got a Poliwalk. We got a Zubat. And we got a first edition Jungle Marowak added into your bag. Yes. Breakers, I'm beginning that first edition today. You know it. On top of that, we're going to hit you up today with My Little Ponies Pack added into your bag. As well as, we are going to hit you up with a Crosshatch Holographic. I'm gonna hit you up with a Crosshatch Holographic League promo. Double colorless energy. Also added into your bag as well for your break today. Congratulations, Avi Protocol. That's what I call a solid two-pack flash fire break, baby. Yes, sir. All right, next breaker is Long John coming in for some Vivid Voltage. Okay, Long John. Vivid Voltage, Long John. Long John with the Vivid Voltage. Let's see it. Starting off with a Zacian. Amazing rare, okay. Today's a big Zacian Zamazenta day, huh? Hey, let's keep going. Vivid Voltage, been good to us. Vaporeon Reverse, love pulling that. How about the shiny Galarian Obstagoon gold card? Let's freaking go, bro. I'll put it right here. Yes, sir. Charizard Hollow Base Set. I do have Charizard Hollow Base Set. Awful. I have the Hollow. I have the Shadowless. I have a First Ed uh, Charizard. Which, actually, I am selling, right? I am selling a Shadowless PSA 8. I'm selling some Hollow Charizards as well. Some of my old listings that I posted a while back, they're still in the island sales, right? If it's not marked as sold, it's still available. Right? I haven't sold it. No freaking way! Get the hell out of here, Long John! Long John! You just hit the jackpot today in 18 packs! The Gold Obstagoon and the Full Art Pikachu! You gotta be kidding me, bro. Yo. Log John. Bro. God damn. God damn. Okay. I like that. I like that. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, bro. We'll get a Talent Flame V. Keep it coming. All right? Yeah, you just need like a VMAX. And I don't know, Rainbow? Jeez, dude. This is nice, bro. Galarian Darmanitan V. Keep it coming. I got some other cool vintages that I want to do soon, too. Yeah, or a mini vintage. That I'd like to do soon too, so stay tuned. Orbital V, keep it coming. Two more packs. Evolutions. Evolu oh, evolutions. Yeah, we might be doing some evolutions on Sunday. That is true, old Zan. Yep. Just to kind of pair with it. Alright, final pack. Get out! Get out! Get out, Long John. I'm gonna bag this up for you right here and you get out. Okay? You're done. Alright? Come back tomorrow, Long John. You're done. You're done today, Long John. Get out. Execute. Pidgey. Mankey. And a first edition Bell Sprout from Jungle added into your bag as well, Long John. Congratulations on your break today. Look forward to the next one, buddy. Oh, next breaker here is gonna be a nice one. Oh, you guys aren't ready for this one here. Sing. Sing. Are you guys ready for the Shiny Star V, baby? Oh, man, it's been fun. This set is always fun, but it's been exceptionally fun recently. Yeah, because we're doing two. <laughs> you need the other Zard. Which is the Zard that you already got? Say. Which is the Zard that we already got? The Zard that you got? Galarian Arunrigus. Very nice. We got an Inteleon. A Dragapult. Zamazenta. And a double. Bubbly Rare. Good old Shiny Star V. 
And as a box that, as time goes on, you'll see less and less of these out there and less of these, you know, being opened as well. Dotler, baby shiny. Heat Red. Reshiram, amazing rare. Our Crobat V. Very good, very good. You got the V art, you need the V Max, okay? Uh, why don't we get you a God Pack? How about that, too? That works, doesn't it? You're not going to do the Master Set of this, are you? Stone Trainer. You do get a Full Art Trainer. We've been getting lucky with the Full Art Trainers. These are not guaranteed. It's not even every other box. All right, okay. We'll take a Careless. Very nice. Ditto B and an Orbital here. All right, very possible. Galarian Meow. I mean, the Galarian... What is this? Not the Berserker, right? This is the Galarian Meow. Very good. We got the Galarian Berserker. Ice Skew. Shiny Dragapult VMAX, okay, right? As you know, this is one of the promos in the collection boxes, but this is actually more rare, yeah, or rarer in Japanese because you have to pull it from the set. Congratulations on the Shiny Dragapult VMAX. Let's hit you up with some vintage gym and hit you up with Sabrina's Drowsy, Farfetch, Magikarp, and a Magmar. A couple of great Japanese vintage cards here for you today, Singer. Along with that, we've been trying to hit people up with that additional Shiny. All right, so you're going to get one more baby shiny today. You're going to get the Morgrim baby shiny into your bag as well today, Singer. <clears throat> Very good. All right, box number one. Let's keep going. What's it going to be? Okay, we got a Dreadnought. Baby shiny Dreadnought here. It's our first shiny. Tapu Koko, Toxicrunk, Paul Champ Lapras, and the Sandaconda. All right, again, I think Sweet Crude is really, really nice, right? Whether Shiny Face or Shiny Star V, right? They don't make too many of those. So it's a very, very unique Sweet Crude to have. Okay, Galarian Berserker, Orangonu. Oh my god! No freaking way! No way! No way! No way! The exact Charizard you need! The exact card you need inside of the box that was from my personal collection once again. Okay, yeah. Lovely day. It's, it's every time, it's just specific sets. Yeah. Every time, man. Sink. Tell, tell me we're dreaming. Sink, are we dreaming right now? Am I in your dream? You in my dream? Are we in each other's dream? Can we get some Kappa Prize to chat? I don't know what's going on, baby. But we got a Charizard VMAX. Oh, and it looks good, man. Now I'm going to do the Master Set. Oh, my God. What are you, what are you doing, Sink? I, I, you said it, not me, okay? You said it. Swanda. Maybe Shiny. Okay. All right. Rillaboom. Yeah, that means your final pack here has a shiny. Baby shiny guaranteed. What's it gonna be? There's no muck in this set. In this set, uh, set here. There's no muck at all in this set. You don't get the sweet food, but you know what? You get one of the highest, most popular baby shinies. The Galarian Ponytail baby. Okay. What a way to finish off the box. Unbelievable sing. Congratulations on the Charizard today. Very nice, man. We still gotta hit you up. Some Japanese vintage. Let's go. You got any more to sell? I mean, any of the Shiny Star Vs that we're doing right now, all from the personal collection. Uh, static. I'm not bringing any more in, right? They're not making any more right now. So, we're all from the personal collection. Just doing some because people want to do some breaks of it, right? I've set aside, you know, some for myself as well. Mankey, Sabrina's Mr. Mime, Almanite, and a Farfetch. Japanese vintage is here added in your bag. And you know what, Sig? Right? How about I take you above and beyond today, buddy? Yeah? How about I take you above and beyond today, Sing? Right? For your break today, not only gonna get the crazy hits, the crazy pulls, I'll hit you. Yeah? With the Illustrator Charizard Grand Prix promo. If you guys haven't picked one up yet, get one. Right? They're still currently about $20, $30 a card. Right? Raw. Right? Recommend you guys picking up one. But I added one of these to your bag as well today, Sing. Right? I told you guys, when you guys don't get good breaks, I'm gonna help you out. But even when you get good breaks, I still go help you out, baby. Right, I'm gonna take you to the level above Cloud Nine, baby. Mm hmm. Next breaker is Terror Stain. All right, Terror Stain, let's go. All right, Terror Stains. This is you. Pack number one Evolving Skies. Hydreigon Reverse. Very good. Espeon V Max. Okay. Definitely one you don't see too often. Okay. Congrats. I swear, we keep hitting the evolutions today, man. Larian Joltian, no, Espeon. You know how many V Maxes we could possibly hit? And we're actually hitting all the evolutions. What Vaporeons are in the Evolving Skies? You got the Full Art, and you got the VMAX. That's it. <laughs> that's it, unfortunately. All right, you gotta wait for the alternate arts in, in the future. We gotta go Lurk V. Oh, that's on Oahu. I mean, not all of it, right? There's a couple hundred thousand on, like, you know, some of the other islands combined, right? But yeah, majority, over one million, will, will definitely be on Oahu. How about Turfield Stadium? Gold card, baby, okay. 
Yeah, I knew we gotta get some gold cards today. Congratulations on the gold card. Very nice, Terror Stain. No way, Trailblaze. Congratulations, man. Alright, what else we got for you, Terror Stain? How do we only pull evolutions? Alright, tell me how many different VMAXs there are. Go, go ahead. Tell me how many different VMAXs. And how many are actually evolutions. And we've only hit the evolutions today. Nice. Hopefully you got a bunch of hollows and Vs and VMAXs as well. Right? So you got a nice amount of the uh, of, of hits overall. Psyduck Revert. How about the alternate art Daruladon V? Okay. Congratulations on the Daruladon V alternate art. Look at Raihan and look at Rotom in there. Let's go, Terra Stain. Holy. Gold card, two VMAXs, and the alternate art Daruladon. Nice, bro. Gonna hit you up with some vintage today as well. Gonna hit you up with the coughing, the Geodude, the Rhyhorn, and the first edition Butterfree. Ooh. Get it lucky lucky today, huh? First edition Jungle Butterfree into your bag as well, Terra State. Congratulations. And of course, you hit the jackpot. Last but not least, don't forget, you're gonna get the thank you reverse holographic sealed Hydreigon promo added into your bag as well. Congratulations. Let's open this up for Mr. Fox 808. We're gonna open all of them, baby. Let's see what we got. See if we can pull some crazy things. <clears throat> and then we'll get to the reverses, and then you get excited because the last card could be a hit. Yes. In this case, it is a hit, right? Sometimes it's a not, sometimes it is. It is a full art Umbreon V. Okay, this one is actually pretty off center though. Look how fat the center is on the left side, right? This one is definitely gonna be an OC. Right, off-center Umbreon V, but definitely a very popular Pokemon. <clears throat> Call this uh, set Evolving Skies because of OC. Honestly, that's probably the most OC we've seen so far, uh, Raposo. That's probably one of the more OC cards we've seen so far. Out of all, right, the cards we pulled. Gyarados V. Very nice. How are you when you and when did you start collecting? I started collecting from same as you, or same as a lot of people, right? Back in the day when you were a kid, playing the games, collecting the cards. You guys remember? All right, taking out all your history, uh, what is that, history notes and whatever it is at school when you're in first grade or whatever and putting in that binder, that three ring binder, right, that your parents tell us for school, putting those sheets for cards, putting cards in, taking them to school, trading with friends, having your friends that you thought were friends steal your cards and then you go home and you cry and then your mom gets really upset so that she calls the school and then the school puts a band of Pokemon cards and then everybody in the grade hates you because your mom did that, right, you know, stuff like that, right, that's where the uh, collecting started and uh, I've been collecting ever since. Now, I've, I've done everything from, you know, Pokemon TCG to, like, Yu-Gi-Oh! and MTG as well, so I've shifted my my focus, right, in TCG many, many times, but TCGs have been throughout my entire lifetime, right? For, from competitive Yu-Gi-Oh! to, you know, Magic Midnight releases, always good fun. Yeah, but uh, I've, I've enjoyed Pokemon, I think that's the coolest part and the best part about Pokemon and why it's been so popular, right? Everybody's like, oh, po Pokemon got so crazy. There's a big boom in Pokemon. I think it's just mainly because it's so it's so much memories. I tell people, right? These memories, when you're opening cards, even right now, right? Sapnap, opening up boxes of Evolving Skies. These memories are gonna stick with him even later on. I think that's the best part. Obviously, pulling the alternate art, pulling the rarest card is gonna be amazing to do, but the memories that you make, right? Whether you're opening them by yourself or you know with other people or your community or your friends, that's what really sticks with you. And that's what Pokemon, in my definition, is about, right? It's all about that. And you can see, again, going back to how popular Pokemon is nowadays, it's because of the memories that you have, right? The memories that you have of Pokemon, playing the games, collecting the cards, begging your parents to buy you packs from back in the day to where it is now. So that, that's the reason why Pokemon is so popular. A lot of people have been wondering, right? Obviously, you know, there's been influencers. A lot of people attributed to Logan Paul. A lot of people attributed to COVID. Those are all valid factors as well. But without that nostalgia, without the memories, I don't care who's opening packs. I don't care, you know, who's into Pokemon or whatever it is. Pokemon, Pokemon, right? Nobody would be into it. It wouldn't be as popular. Remember my family would go to Target and we would get some Pokemon cards? Your whole family. That's cool. That's really cool. Like, for me, um... I'm first generation here, right? I'm 100% Vietnamese and uh, I'm first generation. So my parents were, you know, I had very uh, strict Asian culture upbringings, if, if, you, if you know what that is. So, you know, my parents weren't as into Pokemon cards. They know I liked it, right? And it was kind of incentive to, you know, for me to do well in school was, you know, to get Pokemon cards or Pokemon packs. So that's how it was for me. But yeah, my whole family wasn't into Pokemon cards. That's for sure. Me and my brother. Yeah, me and my brother though. But yeah, not my whole family. Definitely not my parents. <clears throat> Swablu. Glaceon VMAX. Nice. Another evolution here. Beautiful Glaceon VMAX. This is your main job. I, I stream full-time. Uh, Jimbo, I do stream full-time. You know, I was a, um, I was an accountant before I became a full-time streamer. All right, a little bit of a long story though, but uh, I used to be an accountant. I've been full-time streaming for about three years, right? Maybe, you know, getting closer to four years. 
and I've been streaming for about five years in general. Five, five is almost uh, over five years now. Yeah, I'm streaming. So I was an accountant before this. Right, graduated college, got an accounting degree, started an accounting job, stream part time for fun because I just wanted to do it for fun, and it grew. I grew, continued to grow the community to the point where there was a opportunity that you know I had to travel and my my job wouldn't let me. So that my job gave me an ultimatum: hey, you can go on this you know Twitch trip, yeah, or you can stay. And if you go, cure them hollow. When you go and you come back, you're not gonna have a job here. So basically, they gave me the ultimatum of. You know, you can pursue your streaming career or you can, you know, stay working here. So, talk to my parents, talk to my uh, girlfriend at the time, which it was just my wife now. Um, and they all said the same thing. I mean, as long as I set a goal and I start streaming and I give myself like, which I set was one year. And if I'm not able to pay my bills and, you know, put food on the table, then, you know, go back to part time, you know, and get, get an accounting job. And I think, right, there's always a need for accountants. So it wouldn't be too hard to get an accounting job because I was still young, right? So that was the uh, that was the plan. We set on it, started full time streaming, putting in more hours, and uh, past is history. Been full time streaming since. All right, it's been many many uh, many many years now. We've done a lot of different things. Glaceon V, from playing different games, right, to a bunch of different mobile games, to just chilling out every day, streaming every day. Yeah, to where we're at now. So it's it's good fun. All right, we only started opening up a lot more Pokemon packs uh, maybe about a year ago. All right, it's been my biggest passion, but. That's not where my community lied, right? When I was um, starting up and building a community, it, it lied within, you know, gaming, right? I started with a lot of gaming and building the community off gaming. But my passion was always TCGs. I would also, al always open packs on stream, but some people thought it was cool, but yeah, not a lot of people really cared, right? So to have that opportunity last year and to be able to start streaming and doing more Pokemon content or TCG content in general uh, was honestly a dream come true, right? Not only being able to right, stream for a living, but be able to do something that's one of my biggest passions is, uh, is is amazing, absolutely amazing. That Pokemon week was crazy. How many of you guys saw the Pokemon week that Ludwig set up? Right, each and every one of them. Right, Pokimane, uh, Trainwreck, uh, Mizkip, Connor eats pants, Moist Critical. Right, they all did a, a, a box right during Pokemon week. That was amazing. Right, helping them to all get their boxes. Right, XQC as well. Helping them all to get their boxes and joining them for their uh, Pokemon week break was a blast. That, that'll definitely be one of my favorite memories. All right, and uh, going to Miz's place, we got a Sylveon VMAX, okay? But yeah, it's a good question about shinies. Does anybody know if they're gonna have shinies for sure at Arceus? Because that should be very interesting with the, uh, the format that they have in there. We got a flip. We got four VMAXs and they're all evolutions, including an Umbreon V full art. What the heck? We'll take VMAXs, man. We'll definitely take VMAXs. We got a nice amount of hits in here so far. I'm not sure if I've ever seen this many VMAXs. Four VMAXs is kind of crazy. And a Suicune V. Wow, we got four of these Vs, which are actually all considered ultra rares. So we got a Suicune V as well. Nice. All right, next breaker we have lined up is Blaine Games. All right, if it's not the Angus Slash Master, I mean the uh, the breaker himself. What, are you supposed to be sleeping already, Blaine Games? What are you doing, staying up? It says my wife's gonna kill me. Oh my God, dude. All right, let's open these nine packs first before any of that happens. I hope I hope not. All right, I hope not. If you, if you gotta go to bed, you, got, you gotta go to bed. Hey, you know what the saying is, right? Happy wife. Happy. That's it. it there's not, there's, that, that's it. That's the same. Wow. Happy wife. Happy. That's it. That's the whole saying. Refresh your browser. Wrap that emote, pink. All right, let me get some island gift spent in chat, please. Okay. Here we go. Nine packs. Good luck, Blaine. Good luck, good luck. Pikachu. Reverse Machoke. A very nice. You know what? You said your wife's gonna kill you for staying up. Well, guess what? Right? I think you'll be just fine, especially with Omega Charizard EX full art. We've hit everything today. We have hit absolutely everything possible today, man. Right? You got to be kidding me, bro. You got to be kidding me, bro. Flying Pikachu. Okay. Very good. Reverse Magmar. Got baited from the fire there. I thought that was going to be a Charizard. I'm telling you, man. Condition on these evolution cards is not common to be this good. Right? The rarity of the cards, that's the rarity, right? Your chance of getting a Charizard. Your chance of getting a Reverse, right? That's all the same chance, no matter what box you open. But the chance you get good condition cards, it doesn't happen too often in this set. But that's the, the one I'm most impressed about. Nidoran, Reverse. Even this one's in very good uh, centering. And a Magneton Hollow. Yo, what the hell, Blaine Games? Last couple of packs here. Last two packs here, Blaine Games. Secret Rare Executor. Let's go. Yo, Savas. Thank you for the 10 gifted, man. Can I get some Island Gifts in chat, please? For Savas here. 
Thank you. Thank you for the good vibes, bro. All right. With those good vibes, anything is possible. Reverse Rattata. Okay. We talk about Raticate. All right. We don't want to see any more Raticates. Gives us a Rattata. Okay. Gonna hit you up with an Oddish, a Slowpoke, a Poliwag, and a Grand Bull. Some vintage cards here. Congratulations. Looking forward to the next break, buddy. All right. Next breaker is... Mr. Murford for some Japanese Shiny Star V. Okay. You sent some big hitters. I mean, you got the big hit today, didn't you, Singer? That is for sure. Rotom, baby shiny. We got a shiny Rotom here. Nice. Yeah, Vettel Amazing Rare. Very good. Dragapult V. Okay. You can only get it, right, in Japanese here, unless you get it in English in the uh, collection box. Congratulations on the Dragapult V. Very good. Now, the rest of the packs here, we are looking for a couple more baby shinies. We should see three, like I said. We can get the uh, very exclusive one, Galarian Rabidash, Galarian Ponyta, and the Sweet Tooth. And of course, I said about that, you know, trainer. All right, there's a chance to get a full art trainer. It's not guaranteed. Okay. Yes! Murford! Yes, dude! Yes, Murford! This is the best card in the entire set. This is the Marnie full art trainer, baby. Of course, these are my personal boxes. Every time. If you guys have been to the channel, you know what I'm talking about. Holy crap, Murphy. Your, your luck just doesn't stop, dude. What the hell, bro? Holy crap. I like that. Don't Wooloo, baby shiny. Don't tell me we're going to get a Suicune or something, too, huh? That would be even more. Yeah, more crazy. Mm -hmm. Wow, Dark Wasp. Good luck. Yeah, good luck with your endeavors. Galarian Zigzagoon is your last baby shiny, okay? All right, is there anything else we can get? Set you up with your vintage here. I'm gonna hit you up with some vintage cards. I'm gonna hit you up with the Kabuto, the Farfetch, the Horsey, and the Seedra. Couple of great vintage cards here for you today, Mirror Ford. All right, congrats, congrats. On top of that, you know we gotta hit you up with one more shiny, right? I'm gonna hit you up with a shiny Bunnel Bee. All right, usually you get three, guaranteed three shinies. I'm gonna hit you up with a shiny Star Bee, Bunnel Bee. Add it to your bag as well. Congratulations today, Mirror Ford. Definitely a dub.